going on guys here is a short video on something that I I uh, missed in the last video I could have easily thrown it in but I spaced so let's just go ahead and create a short video for it so let me create what I'm about to do and then I'm gonna go ahead and explain it to you and really quick I'm gonna consolidate this stuff right here because this does not have to be on multiple lines and okay so I'm gonna go ahead and run an if statement right here above our form validation and I'm gonna use the PHP function int vol let me go ahead and type it out for you if int vol that we're using the get variable now yada 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 and we're going to pass through what's that button single quotes sorry guys it's one in the morning um but the show's got to go on so let's go ahead and set this equal to zero. And my biggest problem with computer programming is I never know if I have the correct amount of parentheses or quotations or single quotations. So let's look at this. We have if int vol get info equal to zero. Okay, that's perfect. Let's give it what we want to execute. And so what it's asking is this, this PHP function right here, it's saying that if this right here, any of our information here is sent or is an integer, then that's fine. That's what we want. We want this information to be an integer. But if it's anything else, if it's a string, you know, just one word or something like that, it's going to set that equal to zero. So if someone, um, you know, if it says like on our contact form or if something was like, hey, how old are you? And you typed... Uh, you know, my name is Brian, and um, that's what we're doing right now. We want it to spit it back. Say you did that and click submit. Well, we want we don't want that to go through to our database because that's not correct information. What we want to do is redirect you to another page. So let's use the PHP function, and we'll just go back to our content.php page, and let's save it. And I think that our form validation is all done. So in the next video, if there is an error, we can catch them because that's what this variable that we created seems like forever ago was for. So everything is set in stone now, and we should have a we should have a uh, a form that's pretty tight on security. So this was it just for the video. I know this video is probably going on longer than than I had planned, but we need to get that in right there. Just go ahead and catch another air. So good luck with this. I'll see you guys in the next video.